Guys, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. I hope you all have been having a lot of fun playing with your Tone Master Pro, checking out the factory presets, maybe checking out some of the presets on the cloud, maybe checking out that preset that we went over in our last video. If you didn't get a chance to see that video, I'll leave a link in the description. Now, like I mentioned in that video, the one problem with that preset is the output of both paths gets mixed together at the end. The only way that you can adjust levels is within the Tone Master Pro, and you can't pan your signals left or right either. They're all mixed together into one. Now, if you go out busking or do small space gigs, this setup might be fine. Instruments plugged into the Tone Master Pro, Tone Master Pro plugged into a powered speaker. That's all you need. You don't need to have each path on its own output channel. But what if you're in a band with a sound tech that mixes your live shows? Or maybe you're recording, you know, something along those lines. Regardless if you're using your Tone Master Pro for two guitars, guitar and bass, guitar and mandolin, vocal and guitar, whatever, you're going to want separate outputs for each channel. And if at all possible, you'd like to have them on the XLR outs. But right now, it's not obvious how we can do that on the Tone Master Pro. However, I have found two methods of separating the pads in our test preset, and the second method also works for USB. Let's take a look. Here's the preset we ended up with last week. It's on the cloud, and it's called Doug B's Guitar Plus Bass Version 1. The top path is a slightly modified version of Factory Preset 01, the 65 Deluxe Reverb, and the bottom path is a slightly modified version of Factory Preset 127, Studio Bass. I used this preset as is for my demo song in my last video. Of course, I couldn't use both inputs at the same time, but all I had to do was plug my guitar into the instrument input for the lead and rhythm guitar parts, then switch to my P bass and move the plug from the instrument input to the mic line input when I did the bass track. So if you work by yourself in your studio space, this preset probably doesn't need to be modified. However, if you're in a situation where you're using both inputs and you'd like to send each input to separate outputs, we have a couple options available to use on the Tone Master Pro. Option one is to first select your preset that uses both inputs, then click on output at the end of one of the paths. It doesn't matter if it's the top path or the bottom path. You'll get sent to the output assign panel. Right now, all nine buttons are active, which you can tell by the bright blue color. If you look on the back of the Tone Master Pro, you'll see a section labeled Output 1. And then to the right of that is another section labeled Output 2. Output 1 has both XLR and quarter inch jacks, and Output 2 has quarter inch jacks only. Now go back to the output assign panel. We can easily send each path to its own output by choosing output 1 only for one path and output 2 only for the other path. So for example, you could send the top path to output 1 and the bottom path to output 2. So to do that, you would turn off output 2 on the upper path and you turn off output 1 in the lower path. Then you'd use one of either the XLR or quarter inch outs in output 1 and one of the quarter inch outs in output 2. Make sure to save your preset. Now, if you don't mind having to use one of the quarter inch outs, hey, you're done. But if you want to use XLR cables only, option two, which we'll go over here in a minute, allows you to send one signal path to the left output and the other signal path to the right output. First thing you'll want to do is undo any changes you might have made in the output assign page. You want all nine buttons active in bright blue. Now hit the back arrow to go to your preset. Click on Preset Settings, then click on Signal Path Type. Right now, it's set to Instrument plus Mic slash Line Series. Go down to Instrument plus Mic slash Line Parallel. Then click on Confirm. Now hit the back arrow to go to your preset. This will add a parallel path to the end of each path in your preset. The thing about this option is that you'll only be adjusting the output splitter boxes. This one here and this one here. Now, I went over what parallel paths and splitter boxes are in my signal path video, and I'll add a link in the description. For the top path, you'd want to click on the second splitter box, which is used for the output of that parallel path. Pan both A and B to the left. Now go to the output splitter box on the bottom path, 
and pan both A and B all the way to the right. We'll leave the settings on both of the input splitters at default. And why would we do that? Well, it's basically a way of ensuring that each track is in mono. Now your top path is panned hard left, and the bottom path is panned hard right. That will give each of them their own channel in the stereo output signal. Save your preset. By the way, this option will also work when using USB for recording. Do everything in option two up to the point of connecting cables. Instead of cables, connect the Tone Master Pro to your computer using the included USB-C cable. Next, connect the Tone Master Pro as the input slash recording interface in your digital audio workstation, or DAW. Create one audio track using input one, and then create another audio track using input two. You're good to go. So that was a look at what I found for separating your outputs when you're using both inputs of the Tone Master Pro at the same time. I'll upload this updated preset to the cloud as Doug B's Guitar Plus Bass V2. Experiment with it and let me know how it goes for you. And hit me up with any questions if you have them. I've got more new content coming up on Friday. You don't want to miss that. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. All right, guys, have a great week, and I'll see you on Friday.